Nice to have you with us. Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. We're back at the Universal Studios Complex here in Key Largo, Florida. This is the most beautiful city uh, um, I have me. ever been uh, to. Mark, I hate to interrupt, Mark. I could have sworn you said Key Largo. Yeah, that's where we are, Harvey. Oh, no, no, I hate to correct you, sir, but it's Orlando. Orlando, Florida. We're in Orlando, Florida at the Universal Studios, and uh, we have two great teams, as always, starting to my right. They call themselves the Raging Rascals. Say hello to Becky and to Ray. Becky says uh, she wants to be a baby doctor, be just a little teeny doctor right over there. And uh, how, uh, how long uh, do you have to go to school to be a pediatrician, do you know? No, but I know that you have to start being a candy striper to get more information about babies. Are you doing that? <laughs> no, I'm going to get older. Yeah, okay, sounds good to me. And uh, Ray, you were in a commercial? Yeah. What kind of commercial? Uh, it wasn't like really a commercial, it was for the Mystery Fun House. See, they were doing this, opening this thing for Starbase Omega, and I just... When I was in gymnastics at Brown's Gymnastics, and they let me, they were picking some kid. Yeah, that's a that's an amusement uh, park out here. Yeah, isn't it? Okay, uh, yeah. very good. Team to my left, they call themselves the Looney Barbarians. Say hello to Erica and Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Now I'm gonna get to Danny here in a second. We're gonna talk to Erica. Now you're a cheerleader. Yeah. And uh, you were in some competition recently, right? Yeah. And how did you do? I went first place. Congratulations, that's great. And we have Danny here, who's uh, obviously very shy, I can tell. Uh, you the class clown? Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's what my friends consider me. I guess that I sort of do clown around a lot. You want to be a comedian when you grow up? No, nah, I was thinking more of like a comedian actor, probably. Okay, uh, and, a, and a singer, dancer, and a uh, writer, producer. Okay, well, good luck Whatever. to you. you. A hyphenate, man, is a hyphenate. We've met him right here, and uh, we're going to move on with the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare, where I'll be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer, or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Uh, four times the dollars. That is absolutely right. And uh, then you can either answer that question or take the physical challenge. $20 for the Raging Rascals, control of this $10 question. How many elbows does Pee Wee Herman have? Or you could uh, dare them. Bring up the $30 if you're right. Dare. All right, now we're at $20. How many elbows does uh, Pee Wee Herman have? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. And now we're at $40, or we can take a physical challenge. How many elbows does Pee Wee Herman have? 
physical challenge. Well, you see, Pee Wee's got two. We all have two. It's sort of an interesting question. Now, let's move down for a $40 physical challenge right over here. And, uh... <laughs> Years ago, there was a TV show called The Ed Sullivan Show, and we do him from, from time to time on this show. And he used to say, oh, let's give her a really big hand, and let's give these guys really big hands right about now. Put a really big hand on this young lady and one really big hand over here. And what do we have to do, youngster? Well, we have to pop these balloons. There are 12 of them. They are gack-filled. They are really, really gack-filled. And what you have to do is do high fives and break those balloons in 20 seconds or less. We'll give you $40. Good night. Uh, no, what we're going to do is uh, make sure that uh, one of you is on this side, and uh, as soon as we get our goggles on uh, and we are actually strapped in, we will do that. And you have to clap your hands together, or if you choose to do it single-handedly, so to speak, you could do that as well. But as long as all 12 balloons are popped in 20 seconds or less, we will give you 40 additional dollars. Why don't you start off over here on this side, and your partner will start off on the other side. Having a difficult time today, Robin, aren't you? Well, let's see who's standing in our audience tonight. Trying our audience, we have the world's tallest nun. Well, let's hear it for her. Bring her out here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. We're just trying to get ourselves uh, situated, and we're all set. Okay, 12 balloons in 20 seconds. $40. On your mark. Get set. Go! Let's go. <laughs> Stay tuned. Got any extra shades? Something's going on. In the city. In the streets. In the night. Something hot. Something cool. Something else. Johnny Depp. Richard Grieco. Peter DeLuise. Holly Robinson. And Dustin Gwen. The most intense place on television. 21 Jump Street, Sundays on Fox. Your passport to adventure awaits at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. Father said, only giraffes can kiss the clouds. Only lions can be so proud. Only bucks can beat the breeze. Only birds can tickle trees. Only elephants have such might. Only tigers fear no fright. Only hippos can tame a stream. But only you. Can dream, dream. Bush Gardens at nearby Tampa Bay. No place else. Before the kids could guess the new marshmallow, Lucky's red balloon blew away. Hooray! I'll help him. <gasps> Safe at last. So what's the new marshmallow? Well, there's hearts, stars, moons, clovers, diamonds, horseshoes, and now... New red balloon! In Lucky Charms, the marshmallowy fun part of this complete breakfast. Frosted Lucky Charms, marshmallowy, delicious. You love me new red balloons too. Welcome back to Super Sloppy Double Dare. We are still in round one, and we just gave away forty dollars by doing some high fives, breaking some gack-filled balloons, and Becky and Ray have continued control with this ten-dollar question. If it's eleven forty-seven p.m. in Seattle, Washington. What time is it in Washington, D.C.? Bring it to 70, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. If it's 11.47 p.m. in Seattle, 
Washington, that is. What time is it in Washington, D.C.? Uh, 2.47 p.m. Is incorrect. It's 2.47 a.m. Doggone it. $20. Goes over here. Brings him up to 80. Nice try there, Danny. You did the right thing. Just said the wrong thing. And uh, we got lots of time to win lots of money. Let's carry on with Becky and Ray. In the cartoons, the Roadrunner said only one thing, but he said it often. What was it? Meep, meep. Meep, meep is right. At $10, <laughs> you now have 90 for the Raging Rascals. And continue control. <laughs> April 1st is April Fool's Day. But what is April 2nd? Is it National Revenge Day? Or is it American Banana Day? Or is it International Children's Book Day? Okay. National Revenge Day. National Revenge Day is incorrect. It's International Children's Book Day. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control back to Erica and Danny. In the nursery rhyme, what did little Jack Horner pull out of his Christmas pie for $10? There. Okay, now we're 20 in the nursery rhyme. What did little Jack Horner pull out of his Christmas pie? A plum. You are right. Up to 110. Put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Ray and Becky, $10 question. Frogs or toads? which has moist skin and is a great jumper? Frog. A frog is right, up to uh, 120. I think Michael Jordan has moist skin as a great jumper. Would that have, uh, would you accept that? No, okay, I just thought maybe. The penny farthing, the rover safety, and the swift ladies, they're all types of what? Bicycles, cocktails, or wrestling moves? Eh. Hey, bicycles. Boy, you guys are batting a 1,000. Up to 130 now for Becky and Ray. No money yet for Erica and Danny. Maybe that'll change on this next question. What American city had the very first subway? New York. That's incorrect. It's Boston in 1897. No dare at stake, but control to Erica and Danny, the loony barbarians. What president is pictured on the dime? Bring you up to $10. Put you on the board for the first time today. Or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now we're 20. Which president is pictured on the dime? Double dare. Now we're 40. We're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's Franklin Delano Roosevelt. We have a $40 physical challenge right down over here. <laughs> See if we can get you guys on the board with $40. Now, one of you needs to be a great balancing act. Who can really balance? You can do that? Oh, good. Then you both move over in this direction. Danny, you're over here, and I want you to put on the goggles. And I want you to put on this hat because I want you to come down over in this neck of the woods. Danny, I have some balloons that I want you to place on your partner's head and pick them up, not just yet. And you must keep those balloons balanced up there on your head. Now, you don't want to turn to the left or turn to the right because if you do, the balloon is going to fall off. You want to keep your head as steady as possible. And when he puts that up there, you have to put your hands to your side and walk all the way over here and have a seat on this blue pad because as you do this, this hand will come down and break that balloon. If you can break three balloons in 30 seconds, we'll give you 40 additional dollars. Keep in mind, you've got a pretty decent amount of time. If it falls out, you have to go back. You have to keep your head very steady. $40 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go. Put it up there. And see if you can go all the way back. Come all the way back. You want to go. over here up to 170. Take that stuff off and move on over here. Let's play some more. Super sloppy double there. Well, that sound means just the end of round one. We're going to play some more. You got nothing to do. I tell you, slip and slide is a way to get through. You get wet on slip and slide. You get cool, it's a long wet ride. And you're hot on a slip and slide. Slip, slip and slide. First you stride, then you glide, then you slide, slide, slide. And get wet. Slip, slip and slide. Slip and slide comes with plastic slide and fasteners from Whammo.
from Walt Disney Pictures. Professor Wayne Selinski invented a shrinking machine that really worked. I accidentally shrunk the kids. He threw them out with the trash. Where are we? Now they're a quarter of an inch tall. We're all the size of boogers. Yes. Up against incredible odds. Having the adventure of a lifetime. Run! They're gonna head right for the house. Rick Moranis stars. We just gotta keep our eyes open. <laughs> In Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, rated PG. Starts Friday at a theater near you. We're coming back with a lot more Super Sloppy Double Dare right after this. I'm sunk. Hey, you're not sunk. When you power up with a complete protein-packed breakfast with low-sugar Cheerios, you're unsinkable. Follow me. You're unsinkable with those Cheerios. You're never sunk with those unsinkable. Let's go. You stay on top, you're power to go. All right. You're never sunk with Cheerios. Are you sinkable? I'm thinkable. Yeah. You're never sunk with those Cheerios. Tonight, settle in for some family fun. Would you mind dropping me off at campus? Oh, yeah. oh no, not at all, Lauren. It'll give me time to uh, tell you a little bit about the work I did as president of the recycling club. <laughs> Stephen, I've heard that story a million times. Sit in the back, Elise. <laughs> And with the Keaton family, anything can happen. It's good to be with family. <laughs> Let's face it, we got it all. <laughs> family Times, tonight at 6. Weekdays, the laps are rich on Silver Spoon. What's wrong? Oh, Kate, I'm a wreck. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't even tabulate. They're a not-so-ordinary family. It's like, you know, a smurf could have blocked that shot. <laughs> Taking a lighter look at life. Okay, but just remember who got you through algebra. <laughs> Alfonso, I got you through algebra. <laughs> Let's not get technical. Silver Spoon, on your summer celebration station, weekdays at 5. Before the kids could guess the new marshmallow, Lucky's Red Balloon blew away. All right! I'll help him. At last. So what's the new marshmallow? Well, there's hearts, stars, moons, clovers, diamonds, horseshoes, and now... New Red Balloon Marshmallows! In Lucky Charms, the marshmallowy fun part of this complete breakfast. Frosted Lucky Charms! Marshmallowy delicious! You love me new Red Balloons, too. <laughs> Super sloppy double dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. We're going for forty dollars. Control of round two. Looks like an oil derrick, but in reality, it is a water derrick. Water down here must be pumped up to the upper pipes, and will spray out. How do you get it up? Well, you pump it back and forth over here through that little tube, and that's where the water will end up. Hopefully, past the line. First team to do that gets forty dollars. Control of round two. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Super sloppy. Erica and Danny, you took the lead right away, and then you had a hard time locking in there. Becky and Ray took the water and took the points. They have 210, and they have control of this next question worth $20. What's another name for a natural satellite that revolves around a planet? Dare. Uh, now worth $40. Another name for a natural satellite that revolves around a planet. Or you can double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 80, we're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's a moon, and we have an $80 physical challenge. Step down over here, if you would, please. And uh, you can head down in that direction, and you can head down in this direction. Well, uh, let's see if we can get... Well, you know, there's nothing coming out here just yet, but in a moment, we will have lots of goopy water coming down. And you'll have to fill up what? Well, you'll have to fill up this pitcher. And after you fill up this pitcher, you send it down to your partner, who then will take that pitcher and pour it into this container, and you must fill it past the line. If you can fill it past the line in 30 seconds or less, we will add $80 to your score. Otherwise, the red team will get it, all right? I will hand you this when I say go, and that's when it can happen.
30 seconds on the clock, $80 at stake. On your mark, get set, go! Try Becky and Ray, Erica and Danny can move up to $100 on this question. What's a ditty? Is it a kind of pasta, the great earth mother of Hindu mythology, or a kind of shellfish? Or you could dare them. Love Quickly before shellfish. time runs out. A kind of shellfish. kind of shellfish is incorrect. It's the great earth mother of Hindu mythology. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Control back to Becky and Ray, the raging rascals. Beethoven was a famous composer, but he had a handicap. What was it? Death. Death. You are right. You have $230 and continued control. The capital of Japan was originally called Edo. What is it called now? There. Now worth 40. What's the capital of Japan? It was called Edo, but what is it called today? Bring you up to 120. Double there. Now worth 80. Or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical, physical challenge. It is Tokyo, and we have an $80 physical challenge. Step down over here with me, if you would, please, because we would like to make some egg drop soup. And how are we going to do that? Well, let's see. Uh, who got wet last time? I believe you did. I want to see you move over here and sit right on that pile of noodles, because over here, we are going to have some eggs to make egg drop soup. And when I say go, you're going to have to pick up the eggs that we will have here and toss them over to your partner. We'll have three eggs, as a matter of fact. Actually, we'll have a bunch of eggs, and here they come right over here. Thank you, Robin. And all you have to do is pick one up and throw it over to your partner, and you have to catch it in the air just like that. And then after you get it, you know what you have to do with it? Crack it on the head. Boy, this guy knows Super Sloppy Double Dare. If you catch three of them in the air, smash them on their head, you have noodles, you have eggs, but no soup. But if you pull on this, the soup will fall down upon you, okay? Yes, you do it all by yourself. And to make it a little more interesting, we are going to put a blindfold on you, okay? And uh, you see if you can get the range. Robin will hold that for you. We have 30 seconds to catch three eggs and make some egg drop soup. On your mark. <laughs> get set. Go! Talk to you. Soup and uh, let's move up and play some more Super Sloppy Double Dare. Three hundred ten dollars now for the Raging Rascals, and that sound leaves the end of the game with three hundred ten dollars. The Raging Rascals have won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. One hundred fifty-five dollars a piece and a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare obstacle course. Well, Looney Barbarians, you were great contestants. Just didn't get the breaks today. Nobody goes away with eighty dollars. Let's make that one hundred. That's fifty dollars a piece. And uh, Harvey, I believe we have lovely parting gifts, don't we? Oh, we certainly do. Spot spend his summers on your chest. You can get a 7 Up Spot t shirt free with the purchase of specially marked 7 Up products. E I E I O. With an oink oink here and only 12 more hours to Aunt Hildy's. <sighs> the so boredom I'm alert has sounded in your brain. Time to grab Konami's new handheld video games. Suddenly, you're pulled into a world of your own with hits like Top Gun and Double Dribble. Yeah. So next time you're on the road to Dullsville, pick up a Konami handheld game and take a detour from boredom. Konami video games. Now you can play them everywhere.
he doing now? Look at Maxine now, she's beachy keen With the prettiest hair I've ever seen Looking beautiful, Maxine! Beachy keen, Maxine! What's Maxie doing now? She's putting on her makeup! Putting on her lipstick and her eye makeup too Putting on her blush is what Maxie loves to do Maxie's fancy face makeup for all dolls. What's going on? We're making Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I do the baking. I shake on cinnamon and sugar. Oops, I get it. Like cinnamon toast with a crunch. It's the cinnamon toastiest part of this complete breakfast. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Baker wristband. So much fun for everyone. One free inside specially marked boxes. You can collect all four. Becky and Ray are ready to run the Super Slobby Double Dare Obstacle Course, starting off with the Soda Jerk. Who's starting off today? Becky is. Jump on the right one and find that flag. If you do that, you'll pick up time, and you'll also pick this up. It's the incredible Franklin Spellagase. Makes spelling fast and fun with 80,000 words from Merriam-Webster. Franklin, world leader in handheld electronic reference products. Means that Ray gets very messy on his hands and knees going under fancy footwork. Crawl under those stomping tennis shoes and grab the flag on the other side. Pass it over to Becky and Harvey. What's prize number two? It's the 9.6V Turbo Baja Banded RC Pickups and the exclusive 9.6V Turbo Rechargeable Battery Pack System. Rechargeable up to 1,000 times new from Tyco. Number three, Becky and Ray, down the hatch, and you can go all... Oh, look, there's a gigantic mosquito down there. Is that a, or a bug of some sort? My goodness, they grow them big down here in Florida, don't they? Okay, anyway, we're going to crawl through here and just kind of grab my attention. Uh, through the teeth, through the gums, and uh, over here and grab the flag, and you pass it to your partner and say, here, and Harvey says the prize is... It's the excitement of soccer in your very own home with Monterey's Football Soccer. Fast action fun for the whole family with Monterey Everyone Plays. Right next to the Uncle Farm, where you'd find the ant farm. Crawl all the way up this ladder and down through the sand and the muck and the gook and come around this area, grab the flag, come out over here where your partner will be waiting patiently and you'll win this. New bikes. Huffy Bicycles providing bicycles for the entire family with fun, fitness, and fashion in mind. Huffy America's first choice. Earwax is disgusting, so try and avoid as much of it as you can. You go in one ear and out the other. And uh, that's where the flag is. Grab it over here, pass it, and win what, Harvey? From Casio, Mark, this time the TV 500, a mini color television that fits right in the palm of your hand. It's battery operated, so you can take it anywhere. It's only from Casio. Becky, any question? No. How about you? No. Oh, you're in good shape then. It's the Marshmallow Mountain up the ladder and down the Marshmallow Gook. And you will find that this will stop your fall. And then you come over here, you grab that flag. You're getting close to the end. Well, let's find out what you well, what you're going to win here, huh, Harvey? Yes, Smith Corona is easy to use. XD5500 memory typewriter with 50,000 word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette. American made by Smith Corona. Number seven is Pickett. This is a huge <laughs> nose, and uh, oh my goodness, it's going to blow. Watch yes. out. Oh, Harvey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Harvey's got one of those Florida colds, I guess. Anyway, this is Pickett, and there's Gook under there, and you must grab uh, the flag from underneath the nostrils. Do you see it in there? Gosh, I don't, but I know it's up there, and I know you can win this prize. It's Young Chang's beautiful white patented finished contemporary condo console piano, handcrafted from the finest materials, and it's built to last. Number eight is right over here, and you ride that tricycle through the brick wall, and as soon as you do that, You'll crash through this area and be near the flag. If you can have that flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, why won't you uh, tell them what they'll win? Sky getting ready to approach us here on obstacle number one, which is the soda jerk. Let's cheer them on, audience. 60 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go!
Jeff, and doggone it. Listen closely, Harvey. I'll tell you everything you've won. Nice try. Mark, they've got the spelling ace, the Tycho Bandit, the Foosball, the Huffy Bike, the Casio TV, and that great typewriter. A price package of over $1,000 each. Thanks for being with us. See you again soon on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe well of Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is your announcer, Harvey Saint. Join us back here next time for another Mondo. and I have the papers to prove it. <laughs> we like the... I'm the master of time.